It is the biggest energy project that the city of San Francisco has invested in in 85 years since Hetch Hetchy Dam was built. It is the biggest energy project that the city of San Francisco has invested in in 85 years since Hetch Hetchy Dam was built. Look around you, everyone. Look at these buildings. What do you see? You see buildings that don't have solar, that don't have energy efficiency, that have not yet invested in the future. If we put our $273 million into these buildings in San Francisco, we aren't going to need these peakers. We're here to push our mayor and to push our board of supervisors to never say it's too late to stop building these power plants. And this is a message, this is a message that one woman has been making for years and it's I'm very proud to introduce her in a second because I made a promise to her a year ago she she made me she told me she said Josh and she said quote baby promise me we're gonna stop those CTs so it's my pleasure to introduce Espinola Jackson from Bayview Hunters Point it's a pleasure to be here with you and I don't want to have to restate what other people have stated. The only thing that I want to say to the supervisors of San Francisco and to the mayor of San Francisco, that you respect the precautionary principles like you do for animals, for the people in Bayview Hunters Point and the city and county of San Francisco. Thank you. Do you know what the largest contributions to global warming are in the world? What are the two largest contributions to global warming? Mobile sources, uh, vehicles, automobiles, and then power plants. Fossil fuels that are being emitted by power plants are producing a soup of substances that are very, very toxic to human beings and a group of British researchers looked at children who were living around a Superfund site and they coined the term petrochemical toxicity for the diseases that they saw in these children. Diseases like asthma and bronchitis and uh, autoimmune uh, disorders. In Bayview Hunters Point we have a profile of people who have an excess burden of disease, congestive heart failure, COPD, heart attacks, arrhythmia, audio, autoimmune disorders, um, cancers that are beyond what we would expect for an urban neighborhood, an infant mortality rate, preterm infants. These are all diseases that are a product of our exposure to fossil fuels. Rainforest Action Network's running a national campaign against new fossil fuel power everywhere in the country. And this kind of proposal is the kind of proposal you expect to see in places like Texas. You expect to see in places like Ohio. You don't expect to see it here in San Francisco. And you look at this project, which is a quarter billion dollars. It is the biggest energy project that the city of San Francisco has invested in in 85 years since Hetch Hetchy Dam was built top energy policy person in the state of California. Mike Peavy, the president of the California Public Utilities Commission, cannot believe we're doing this. He's asking us, are, you, are we crazy? It is time to take a fresh look at this. We rank last, dead last, 10 out of 10 in terms of Bay Area counties, in terms of the amount of solar power installed per capita in this city. We can do a lot better. We're wasting energy like crazy in our public buildings. We need to be putting energy efficiency and renewables first before we move ahead with something like this. Thank you. Thank you.